Good afternoon friends my name is Dalit Soni and you are watching in news by Drishti IS In today's episode we will be discussing about the Agnivir scheme which has been in news recently so we will talk about the aims and what are the issues attached to it This scheme is in news because after the Lok Sabha election now you know that there will be a coalition government which will be formed under the NDA so there are various uh, you can say allies parties which are actually asking for the review of this particular scheme and that is why this scheme has been in news so we are talking about it okay So before starting today's discussion I would like to tell you this uh, about this course that there is this IES GS foundation course that will be in live online format this course is available on our Drashti learning app the features of this course are that because since this course is for prelims as well as mains so there are certain things there are more than or nearly 400 classes which are there and that classes amount to nearly 1000 plus hours okay then there will be total 11 books of prelims practice series and there will be mains capsule series which are uh, you know uh, part of this particular course there will be 90 tests for prelims and 24 tests for mains and there is a facility to get a total 500 answers evaluated uh, on the Steel learning app other than that there will be a free of cost current affairs classes and prelims crash course for three years so to avail this particular course you can go and download the Steel learning app and you can find this course over there okay now coming back to our discussion in today's discussion we will start with the news then we will move forward to the Agnivir scheme we will talk about the Agnivir scheme we will see the introduction and then we will go to the key features of the scheme okay after that we will see why this scheme is contentious or you can say what are the issues which are attached to this particular scheme then we will see what is the response of the government okay then we will uh, you know wrap, wrap up the session with the practice question okay when we are talking about this particular scheme or per se this particular discussion that will be important from your GS paper 2's point of view it is attached to the polity section of your syllabus okay so now coming to the discussion let's first see the news okay the BJP's Agnivir scheme is back into spotlight as BJP and the NDA National Democratic Alliance they are trying to uh, form the government so ahead of prime ministers you know swearing in the Janta Dal United that is one of the ally and then Lok Jan Shakti Party Ram Vilas, that is also an alliance of NDA they have asked for the scheme to be reviewed okay so there are certain allies which are saying that this scheme Agnivir scheme should be reviewed because there are certain concerns which are attached to it okay so that is why this particular scheme was in news now coming to the introduction of this scheme so Agnivir scheme introduced by Indian government in June 2022 okay the aim of this scheme was to recruit young minds or young people aged from 17 and a half to 21 years of age it will be a contractual service you can say or contractual basis it will be the recruitment and then it is for four years okay so that will be a recruitment for four years on a contractual basis okay these recruits are called as agnivirs okay so whoever person will be recruited in this particular scheme that will be called uh, you can say Agnivir different from the regular soldiers in the Indian army as their service is temporary okay. So such temporary services or you can say uh, such provisions are there in USA and other militaries as well okay. So there is this new scheme which has been launched by the government in June 2022 that is Agnivir okay. Now coming to the key features of this particular scheme if we talk about so there are one thing which I have already discussed that it is a scheme which is talking about the recruitment of a person from 17 and a half to 21 years okay duration of service will be four years including the training period okay so this recruitment will be for four years okay now the first year salary package will be around 4.76 lakhs okay with upgradation up to 6.92 lakhs uh, in the fourth year so basically what we are saying is that there will be a salary which will be given in this particular form okay post release okay once you have done your job you have done your service you have fulfilled your contract after that post release you will be getting a seva nidhi package okay this seva nidhi will amount to nearly 11 lakh and 71 thousand okay so you can say 11.71 lakh rupees will be you will be getting on the you know expiration of the term of four years okay now it will be a non-contributory insurance cover of 48 lakhs okay if something happens to you on you know on the course of the duty there will be a in insurance that is of 48 lakh rupees okay and that is a non-contributory in nature that you don't have to contribute anything in that okay now there will be 
they will be given an agnivir skill certificate to assist post release job opportunities okay once you are going out you know out of this particular service then there will be a certificate which is will be given to you so that you can get different jobs outside the uh, you know you can say services or you can say in the mainstream society or civil society okay so here it is clear that uh, it was introduced in june 2022 which we have already discussed it is on the you can say recruitment on the contractual basis it is a short term service there is a term of four years okay post service civil integration after service you will be going into the mainstream society or the civil society okay and financial package upon completion that is seva nidhi which we have already talked about okay now coming to the next part of this particular discussion here you can see there are certain contentions which are attached to it and because of these contentions or because of these issues there are these parties like uh, in bihar when we are talking about jdu okay and we have talked about uh, uh, lok shakti etc so these are the parties which are saying that this scheme should be reviewed okay because they there are certain issues which are attached to it and these issues are first limited retention when we are talking about the expiration of the four years okay after the four years out of all those people who have joined only 25 percent will be retained for the you know uh, further course of action or you can say for further 15 years service okay so nearly 75 percent people who were part of agnivi scheme they will be you can say directionless okay because they will be coming out of uh, you can say military after four years and uh, uh, now they won't be having any job which is waiting for them so you have to go uh, and search for a job okay so that is uh, you can say these 75 percent people will be at a disadvantage at that point of time okay so limited retention is there so that is one cause of concern second is concerns over the job security obviously after four years you don't have a job security whether you will get will be getting a job or not that is also a concern over here okay so that is there are concerns related to the job security then no pension no gratuity okay those people who are serving in the military they will be getting a pension when we are talking about the permanent commissions or the you know short service commissions so these people will be getting pensions etc but when we are talking about these agni Veer, they will not be getting any pension they will get one time payment that is seva nidhi okay other than that they won't be getting anything so that is an issue wherein there is no pension no gratuity okay second uh, and the last one is the short service period of four years okay so as we have discussed that this is a short service period of four years after that only 25 percent will be retained nearly 75 percent people will be joining the civil society and now they might be confused they might not have the proper opportunities when we are talking about the people who are part of the education uh, you know you uh, finished your degree and then you go for masters and after finishing your masters then only you can see that there are not uh, you know uh, uh, enough jobs which are waiting for you now these people who have actually stayed out of the mainstream society for four years and now they are coming back and uh, you are expecting that there will be jobs waiting for it so that is kind of a uh, concern over here okay now coming to the next part what is the government's response when we are talking about the you can say uh, these uh, contentions and when we are talking about these demands of reviewing the scheme what are the government's take on that so government has said that they are open to relook okay they have said that yes if there is a problem in the scheme we are open to relook uh, have a you know a review of this particular scheme okay now possible age limit can be increased to 23 years okay now here it is 17.5 years to 21 years so one change they are trying to you know they are accept uh, you know uh, open to is that they will increase the age to 23 years second is considering increasing the retention to 50 percent okay right now retention is 25 percent so they are saying that if you know uh, talks are there and they uh, you know uh, go through the pro proper procedure they are considering that they will go for the increase in the retention that is up to 50 percent okay now what are the support measures there you can say preference in the government jobs so those people who are coming out of the Agnivir scheme okay so these will be given uh, some kind of preference in the government jobs second special skill based degree program by IGNU for them there will be a skill based program in the IGNU so that they can get another jobs as well okay now priority recruitment in CAPF and Assam Rifles 
so when we are talking about these services these forces so there can be given a priority recruitment to these agni beers okay so that is about government's response over here so we can say that that scheme is there and uh, there are certain issues which are related to it and there are certain way forward as well okay increasing the age limit or considering the you know uh, increasing the uh, uh, you know percentage of retention over there these are certain things which can be done about it okay so that is about the Agnivir scheme, whatever uh, we have uh, the contentions or the issues, whatever is the aim and what is the way forward. Now coming to the last part that is basically your prelims practice question. Which of the following benefits are not or you can say Agnivir are not eligible for. Okay. So which of the following benefits Agnivir are not uh, uh, you can say eligible for. Pensions, gratuity, seva nidhi, both A and B. So basically, you have to choose the correct option uh, from here and you can reply in the comment box. Okay. So with that, I would like to wrap up the session. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe it. Have a nice day. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.